sell with contractors liability and in today's quick video we will be discussing the dreaded workers compensation audit now i understand that completing your audit can be a stressful and difficult time if you don't prepare ahead of time this video will be giving you an overview on what you can expect during the audit process and what you can do so that the process can go smoothly so let's get started First off, it's important to understand that your workers' comp premium is an estimated premium. The insurance companies understand that a lot can change in your business throughout the course of the year. This is why you will be required to complete a workers' comp audit at the end of every policy period. The insurance company can request financial documents such as profit and loss statements bank statements and even tax returns to confirm that the payroll figures you used on your workers' comp policy are correct. If the documentation that you provide shows that you use subcontractors in your business, the insurance company will request you to provide certificates of insurance for each subcontractor. If you are unable to provide this, your subcontracting costs will be added towards your payroll. Now this is the most common problem that most business owners face during an audit process. What happens if your estimated payroll and audited payroll figures don't match up? If you complete your audit and it is confirmed that the original payroll figures you provided at the beginning of your policy are lower than your actual payroll, a premium adjustment will take place and this could possibly mean that you will pay more from your premium than what was originally expected. Now, in reverse, if your payroll was much higher than what your actual payroll was because business was a little slower or you let a few employees go, your premium adjustment could mean that you will pay less than what was originally estimated. Now, it is very important to remember that besides your payroll, they will also audit the type of work each employee performs. What about subcontractors? Subcontractors are excluded from your workers' comp policy when they have their own workers' comp insurance. If you are a business owner who only hires subcontractors to do your work, then you are transferring the risk from yourself to your subcontractors. It's of the utmost importance that you collect certificates of insurance from each and every subcontractor that does work for you, because you will be required to provide these certificates during your audit process. If you are unable to do so, your premium will be adjusted and you could possibly pay much more for your policy. What if I don't complete my audit? Workers' compensation audits are mandatory at the end of every policy period. If you do not complete this audit, it is considered a violation. Now, every carrier is a little different, but most carriers will mark you as non-compliant and issue a non-compliance bill. This bill could be anywhere between 25 to 50% of what your original policy premium was. But in some instances, insurance companies can slap you with a very large non-compliance bill. Here is some good news. Workers' compensation auditors understand that business can be unpredictable and that from time to time, business operations can change. They are usually reasonable in working with you to get your audit complete and they can even provide you with extension periods. Now, once an audit is completed, you have up to three years to dispute the audit findings. What documentation do you need? You will need to provide payroll records. Now, this could include payroll journals, checkbooks, tax returns and overtime payroll journals. You will also need to provide employee job descriptions and certificates of insurance listing you as an additional insured. The audit process can be very stressful, but making sure that you have all the required documentation will ensure that this process goes smoothly. 
set aside some time and answer all of the questions on your audit form as soon as possible. You can also ask your insurance agent to help guide you through this process. Keep a watch out for our next video, which will be the workers' compensation audit pitfalls and how you can avoid them. Thanks for watching. Thank you.